All right, awesome. Welcome to our session 10 um, of our Learn Kiowa sessions for um, level two credentialing teacher prep. Um, we are going to be discussing lesson four today and practicing our pronunciation and some conversations for lesson four. So um, to prepare, especially for the conversations, since they build on each other, it might be a good idea to have lessons one, two, and three handy um, so you can reference them as needed. Um, and I'll share my screen here as soon as we get started. So um, with that, let's see. Um, I know we still have some people logging in, so uh, we'll go over kind of who's here after we get everyone logged in. Um, but for now, to kind of get us started um, so that we can um, kind of open it up for questions, I'm wondering, uh, Grandma Martha, um, they don't, sorry. Oh. It's all upon my time. They only um, hate to get Tom on a day doggo. Get those on a doggo. Ankle, salt they go. Eight more hammer. They tell them. For the Heavenly Father, just want to uh, thank you for the ability to meet together, um, speaking our language, trying to preserve it, trying to keep it, trying to pass it on. We're hoping that these uh, young people that are learning this will carry it forward and continue it. And we're asking that you give them uh, help as they need it. Uh, thank you for everything that you have given us. Um, our uh, daily food, our health, uh, for even just keeping us when we have to go around to different things, for keeping us safe. Um, we ask that you continue to be with us as we start a new day here. Um, and bless everybody that can attend and has been attending, even those who cannot make it. Thank you for everything, Lord. Amen. Obaha. Aho. 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 All right. Awesome. Um, and I see uh, Dane joined us as well. Um, your grandma said that the meeting just got over, so I know some of the other mentors are jumping over to this meeting. All right, let's see here. Um, let's go over who we have here with us. Um, so for our um, mentors so far, we have Grandma Martha Nell and Miss Brenda. And then for our learners, we have uh, myself, Kathy, Judy, Nelson, Tim, Ramon, Lori. And um, I didn't get any other messages from people. So we will um, see who is able to join. Um, and like I said, tonight, we're going to be focusing on level two, lesson four, um, pronunciation and conversations. Um, so uh, first off, I wanted to just um, see, let's see, uh, turn it over to the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board to share any updates with us before we get started. Um, so uh, Dane, I'll turn it over to you. Okay, uh, bear with me because there's something wrong with my Zoom on my computer. I just got it to start working, but it's still doing some weird stuff. So, uh, but y'all can y'all hear me? Yes. Oh. oh. Okay. So we did decide on a date and area. We haven't. We have. We don't have to locate the exact location down, but uh, May twentieth, Saturday, Saturday, May twentieth is when uh, the in-person credentialing will be. Um, we haven't decided uh, if we're going to do one later in the summer as well, but we could if we needed to have one. 
so that, that was on discussion in there is that we could have a later one maybe in the beginning of august sometime if if it's needed but that's the official one for right now may 20th saturday oh uh, there's no official time yet until we get the building we were talking about uh the kiowa language office uh the christian center where they hold some of the uh kiowa clemente classes and also even the uh, anadarko high school auditorium so there's several locations what we're looking at and we'll decide on location next week but we do know it's going to be in anadarko on the 20th of may Oh, awesome. Um, do you think uh, that the timing will be similar to previous in-person sessions? Or will, what do you think the time frame that we can expect? Just so people can put it on their calendars. Uh, I'm going to guess like maybe about, I think what have we started about 10 or 11. So between 10 to two, somewhere around there. We gave enough time. I think we had it less than that, but we stayed longer than we than what the ending time was to work with whoever needed it. So I'd say somewhere in between there, just as kind of like a 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. type thing. Is there a dance on that day too? Does anybody know? Oh, good question. Uh, hmm. May 20th. Oh, uh, isn't that the, uh, is it May 20th? Isn't that the KCA Veterans Powwow? Um, but I mean, that's yeah. a lot. I mean, so. it'll give people enough time to actually head over there because of course all that stuff doesn't start till about two anyway, so. Right, right, exactly. Very cool. Okay. And the other thing we did, we we didn't get to talk about it for too long. Uh, but let me see if I can pull it up. It's the, the art festival in Powell, but um, maybe uh, is Tim in here? Oh, um, I know that we have, they just told me about it on Saturday, but that Saturday morning, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Um, do you think you can talk about that? That's because I know you turned the flyer for here. The art festival on the Friday, this Friday and Saturday. Yeah, well, it's just the uh, it's the Kawa Veterans um, Powwow, and so they're going to do the uh, they're going to do the um, the art on Friday, and then um, on Saturday, I think the Kawa language is having a um, a session on it too. So. Um, but, it, but then the power will start at two o'clock both days and then at contest on Saturday. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So um, the reason we talked about it in the, in the session was at 11 on Saturday, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. is the Talk to Me Kiowa language. Of course, we're still talking about what we're going to do with that. Hopefully, it can be kind of more of an open session, you know, on conversational type stuff, idioms, things like that, uh, where it can be kind of an open, a little bit of an open forum, but with a, you know, with a little bit of format to it, we'll see what, how, you know, we'll talk to everybody who's going to be involved with that. Um, and that's one of the items that are there pertaining to the language part so that's that'll be good that that sounds interesting uh but i just learned about that on saturday so i thought i'd just throw that out there since we did briefly talk about that in our meeting or just after our meeting and it's it's uh what was it? it's called talk to me kiowa language 11 a.m 12 30 p.m and and it's at the kiowa community center What was the time again? Oh, I, I was going to type it in the chat. 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. At Kiowa Community Center. Yeah. And then right after that, about an hour and a half later, 2, two o'clock is when the gourd dance will start. All 
All right. And is that open to the public? Um, as far as I don't know all the details to it, just that it's at that time. So I'm, I'm guessing it is. Yes, it's open to the public. Okay. Awesome. Uh, what, what date is that again? Uh, it's this Saturday. Oh, this Saturday? Yeah. Uh, April the 8th. Yeah. Oh, that starts April okay. the 7th. Okay. Oh. Awesome. That's exciting. I might say because I'm going to be down there. If there's any credentials that are, that are uh, struggling with anything, maybe during that, right after that, maybe we can get a few things done that normally we couldn't do in person. So I'm going to put that out there since I'm going to be down there anyway. If there's some things with uh, maybe the what do you call it the voicing the the stories the pronunciation. Oh, I think we might have lost you, Dane. Oh. Melody, I went to uh, Hyundai and Saito. Hyundai. Uh, but uh, is there online oh. advantage, you know, anything for online? I feel myself too. Like, because yeah, if know. I can't make it down there, maybe in August I would be able to if they if they did one in August. Huh. Oh. But so online, uh, Kathy just asked uh, Dane about online. Um, are you talking about online credentialing opportunity, Kathy? Okay. Oh. I just got kicked off just now. So I don't know if it took me off, but I was, uh, it shut me offline real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. We can hear you again. Okay. Um, I don't know if you heard, uh, but Kathy had a question for you. Um, she wants to know if there is um, like an online uh, credentialing option in case she can't make it to the in-person uh, credentialing on May 20th. Um, let's, uh, I guess we'll have to see how the facilities there, uh, Wi-Fi works. That's gonna be the kind of the main issue of any of those facilities is how good the Wi-Fi, usually in the, uh, the the Kiowa office, since we can do Zoom meetings, it's usually possible, but I don't know about those other locations, like the Christian Center and the, and the auditorium. I don't know how good their Wi-Fi is. Oh. So yeah, I think it depends on location. Like super busy in May, uh, uh, with graduation and all. So I'll be graduating in May. So okay. I was wondering if, you know, maybe, I think I'd probably be a little bit more comfortable if I had more practice, you know, so maybe August, if like, if you had one. Okay, that like the August session. Okay, that, yeah. that's also the good option. Uh, okay, that sounds, that sounds good too. So we'll keep that in mind. Oh, oh. Awesome. Any other questions for Dane or the credentialing board? All right. Well, it sounds like we'll be uh, looking forward to hearing some more details over the next uh, few weeks on the um, you know, the location and exact exact timing of that in-person credentialing on the 20th. So that'll be awesome. All right. Uh, let's see. So we had a couple um, others that joined us um, while you were sharing, Dane. Would you mind sharing about the in-person credentialing event? Uh, I saw Courtney login and um Akima and George okay uh so for anybody who's doing that um we did we did vote on a date for your 
let's see. Can you now see me? <laughs> oh. It's doing something weird again. I don't know what's what's wrong well with my Zoom now, but um Saturday, April 20th is when we're going to be having our credentialing session and interviews. And the location this time will be Anadarku for this one. But we haven't decided on which building and which locations that part uh, is to be de determined. And I believe we'll have it decided by next Wednesday before the session. Oh. Some? Oh, hold on. All right, any other questions for the language board? Monday, I'm sorry, Doc. <laughs> You said April 20th? It was April May 20th. 20th, right? I mean, May 20th. I'm sorry, May 20th. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would have made it real soon. Yeah, May 20th. That's a Saturday, May 20th. Yeah. April 20th. And it'll be in the morning. I'll start in the morning about 10 or 11. We haven't decided on time yet. 10 or 11, maybe going to about two, kind of like we did where the Norman uh, ones last year. Awesome. Um, and uh, let's see, Miss Brenda, I saw you put uh, something in the chat. Oh, the Christian Center. Okay, does so it does have Wi Fi. Okay, so we'll have one of those locations down next week because I know there was several that were put out there. We just got to decide on one. Uh, Dane, Hyundai, and Title. Hyundai. Um, so what, what's the first thing we should start with, like, um, in that folder, I get confused about getting in there. <clears throat> so I remember when we did the first level, I was able to go in there and repeat, right? So that's, is there one in there like that? Again, where I have to repeat the word. And record myself. yes uh when you go into you're talking about probably the pronunciation stuff right oh okay there's a part where you have to read through some stories and you also got the audio for those stories too uh, i don't know how much of that i have updated on there and i did a few updates a couple months ago but let me go ahead and go to the google drive and see what's all in there but if you go to the pronunciation area of that credentialing study material, I think that's was it study material. It's the pronunciation reading, and then there's the level two stuff. So the level two stuff has a few folders in there, and those folders do have. Uh, the recording to go with it, and then you record yourself reading those stories. Um, so you pick, if it's a short story, you pick two of them and you read them, but if it's a pretty long story, then you kind of stick to that. And so when you record yourself reading them, the idea is not to record yourself just one time, but maybe re-record it several times and keep the most uh, recent recording that you have. Listen to the listen to the speakers in those in the story that you have also comes with the audio so listen how the speakers in there are talking and then you can read through them and you try to stay as close to how the speakers are saying it possible once we hear you kind of read the whole story through we can give you feedback on sounds that say if you're missing certain sounds or you're kind of getting caught on the same uh, uh say there's a certain vowel that that you're not catching every time or there's a certain uh ejective sound that you're not getting then we can give you the feedback and say okay uh this sound is missing on this one go ahead and read it through but every time you get to that sound make sure that you're pronouncing uh you know the t apostrophe or the blended d's or things like that so it gives you a, it'll give you feedback on your on your pronunciation so you're just reading a lot more instead of just word for word like you did in level one you're reading whole stories but again one recording through is usually not the best. As I told people before, 
when I did it, I bet there's some stories that I've recorded myself saying about 20, 30, 40, maybe even 50 times sometimes. Uh, and then I listen to myself. Do I sound like the people on the recording or do I sound like somebody who's talking Kiowa? Or are there some things that I'm missing where it kind of sounds off because I'm, some of my English isms or my English accent is, is running into there? And how do I fix that? So only really you can really kind of fix it yourself when you're listening to them. But that's what the recordings are there for. So you can kind of try to shadow the way people are talking. So when you read it, you try to say it like that. If you do 10 recordings over a certain amount of time, if you listen to your first and listen to your last one, there should be improvement and you should be, and there should be parts where you're thinking, oh, I sound more Kaiwa in this one than I did the first one I did. Oh. Oh, what about the um, class, like when we were doing, um... Uh, you know, making up a, what was that uh, for class? What was that? I forget. It was the, oh, the lesson plan. Are there lesson plans for level two? Uh, no, when you do that part, you just do, there's only one, uh, there's only one uh, level of that. So that doesn't have to do with the Kiowa portion of it. Oh, okay. Once you do that, you're good. I think I believe I don't know on the if anybody else has any uh, anything on that portion on the professional development side is what she's asking about. Remember when we had to make like ten lesson plans or something like or six? Melody. She might have stepped away. Yeah. I believe once you get through it one time, or that first time, then you have that that one down, right? She was asking about the uh, the professional development side and all of that. The oh, the checklist from mm -hmm. the the um yeah for the credentialing, uh yeah that checklist since you it's basically to get certified for level one you have to do all the checklists, but once you complete that then it's whatever the level two requirements are from the credentialing board. Oh, okay. And is there okay. is there a list for that in there? I think uh, in the Google Drive, isn't there? Or I don't know. I think, Dane, you might you mentioned that there is. I know that you've shared the components of the level two credentialing before with us, but I think you said there's something in the, uh, I don't remember if there's a document in the Google Drive. Um, you're oh, a co-host, yeah. so if you want to share your screen, you can, or I can share my screen and tell me where to go. Okay. Um, well, um, now, um, because we had to turn the official, I should have asked that earlier in the meeting because we had someone in the, well, I, maybe I think was Ramon. Ramon's in here, right? Ramon, can you hear me? Oh. Okay, so we've got somebody from Kiowa Language Program here. Um, me and Cricket, several weeks ago, we worked on revamping what level two is going to be. So what ends up being what level two that you're doing right now, if you do it as soon as this, it's gonna be the lower levels of level two because we really don't know how far people can go with a lot of this stuff. So y'all will be the first people to go through level two, although level two is probably gonna have more stuff to it later on within the coming years. Um, but really the level twos that are getting level two right now, they're probably actually getting only the first tier of level two, not the upper tiers of level two, because we don't know where people are gonna, we don't know how far people are gonna be able to get on level two. So we have it set and everything we actually have set for level two is actually um, the lowest level of level two of a novice, I guess. I mean, not novice, but a, a intermediate. So we got this in, kind of this intermediate area set and we did that so for the state because we re, we had to reword it make sure we had some details in of how that's going to go and what it ended up being is that our level two right now as it is it is the lowest level of intermediate so for right now that's what we'll have to work with until we find out does it work or not because it's it's going to start going past what even our uh, ou classes can get to so we're kind of we're kind of delving into unknown territory in that in that case, and we had to find out whether people are going to learn some of that stuff or not. So 
that so that's where we're trying to get as many we're trying to find some people to get to this level two so we can find out if we can have a handful of us that can kind of go above what our uh college classes can do and right now the level ones are kind of right there with the college classes to a certain extent for uh uh for kaiwa one kaiwa two and a certain extent, a certain extent kaiwa three although kaiwa three does go in its own areas as well But um, let me go ahead and see where it's at, share my screen, so you know where the level two stuff is at. Um, if you go into the Google Drive, let me go ahead and pull that up so I, so I can go to the beginning. And then I'll share my screen. Okay, and y'all can see that, right, with the credentialing study material? Oh. Okay. So you got portion A, portion B, portion C, portion D, the family chart, conversation, grammar, pronunciation, reading, uh, conversation. It really has the repetitions in there. It looks like something happened here. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I think there's just things that people turned in that that. Oh, there is going to be an update coming in pretty soon because there is a it's the same stuff you had for your conversations. I just rearranged it in an order that I guess makes a little bit more sense to learn it in a different order than we had it. So there is going to be some minor changes and it's really just um, flipping some lessons around to in other areas where they come sooner or later on down the line. And there's also going to be some uh, additions and the additions to some of them where they originally had only three questions and with their answers we added a fourth and most time I added a fourth uh, line it's a repeat of another lesson from somewhere so it's just to give a little bit more repetition to uh, some of the phrases that in our high school classes it seemed people were having a hard time doing now for y'all it's going to be easier if you saw uh, in those in these conversational lessons, you saw that Bay saw and Hey Bay and that kind of stuff showed up multiple times. For Kaiwas, that's pretty easy to pick up. So it kind of have it easy there for all the Kaiwas that are in here. Uh, the reason that was put in there, all my non Kaiwas were uh, because they never heard that throughout their life. They have trouble with Bay saw, Bay ha, Aim Hey Bay, Aim Ah. Like for some reason, those commands don't compute with non Kaiwas. Uh, especially non-Indian, non-Kiowas. It's just like they can't get it, so I had to put it in there multiple times. So that's why those are ending up multiple times. So it makes it easier for Kiowas because they're getting these phrases that y'all are getting these phrases that you already heard before. And so even in my classes, the, the Kiowas that are in there, they have a, those are really easy lessons for them, and they're really hard for people that never heard them before, even though they're some of the shortest lessons there. For some reason, they, Beha doesn't compute with them. It's like they just memorize something and it's just, uh, they don't really know what it really means until they have to take the test and quizzes on it. So there's gonna be some minor changes, but that's about it. Still the same exact conversations. So you can study on this one or you can study on the new ones whenever I have those updated. It's not really gonna make too much of a difference. Um, unless we're updating that book for Melody, it is gonna be in a slightly different order which was the trouble of making a book in the classes that every time I change that, if I made worksheets for that, it's not so hard if you just make the cover pages, it's hard when you make worksheets for it because then you gotta flip everything around. So um, that's the portion A conversation. So the conversation stays the same. The difference between a level one and level two is level twos initiate more conversation. So not only are we initiating conversation with you in the interview, because that's what the interview is, is the conversation you're trying to initiate conversation back to us. And that's more of a level two, that's what we're gonna call a level two thing is that you're trying to say things to us instead of just waiting for us to question you the whole time. So you gotta take a little bit of initiative to ask us different things. And depending on what those things are, if they're off script type things, then that kind of puts you at a higher level. But if it's just stuff that you've learned, 
Uh, we're waiting for you to, to initiate conversation to us. Uh, the grammar stuff, similar to what we did, except it's not about understanding it in board. Yeah, we have to do it the other way. It's from English to Kai, English to Kiowa, not Kiowa to English. So that's the big difference there with the grammar. So if you remember me saying the, I now some people did this when they did the early versions of the of the in person or in person finals. So they got most of the uh, Kiowa to English or English to Kiowa version out of the way. So if we have your if we have your recording for that, we may just add a few more nouns, but it's going to be the same as you did the first round of it. And we might just add a few more nouns to it. So we'll see what that is. But the original one you did for less, lesson one, we did switch that around where you did translate things from in, uh, Kiowa to English. So I said, uh, I saw I saw the shoe. I saw two shoes. You know, really simple sentences like that. It's not a really as much focused on that noun there. It's more focused on that middle word. How many am I seeing? Am I seeing one, two, or a bunch of things? And that was the hard part for a lot of people. And we did do a little minor switch on that from Kiowa to English instead of English to Kiowa. Well, in level two, you have to do it uh, English to Kiowa. The best thing I can really... Uh, if you ever had to do Spanish or French or anything, you have to do conjugations of I am, you are, he is, that kind of thing. That's kind of where this goes in Kaiba with the grammar stuff. It's the only grammar thing you do for right now, but it's just something that's too important to not know what it is because it's like you can't get over the next hump. Uh, you're always kind of going to get stuck in just knowing words if we if you don't get over this part. And the trick is, don't after you took it, after you took it for level one you're going to have to look back at it quite a bit. If you haven't looked back at it since the, since the last time you took that, uh, the credentialing last August or during the summertime, you might have already forgot it right now. So if you haven't looked at it, you probably need to go back and look at it again because that's, that's not, it's not easy to retain unless you do look at it uh, pretty often. Um, oh, let me go ahead and admit. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the thing to admit people in. So that grammar part, again, the short sentences, you can't go too far with that um, because the focus is not on the rest of the sentence more than just that, that one word in the middle. Um, so it's just reverses. Your family chart, your family terms, they reverse too, and there's a little bit more you do with them. Uh, for level one, most of you knew that I just said a set of family terms, you just told me what family term that is. So can you recognize the family terms that I'm using? And I gave you the my, your, and his, her, my bad, your dad, uh, his dad. And if you really needed help, if it had calling two forms, like when you call to dad or you talk about him as if that's his name, then I added those in too. But all you had to do is recognize which family member am I talking about. Um, some had a hard time, some, some didn't, it, it kind of varied. So for level two on that one, it's reversed now. I say the English and I was be real specific. So the what you'd have to say is, I'd say the, the word your dad and you actually have to literally say your dad. So you can't use any other dad phrases. You have to say the word, uh, you have to use the word your dad. If I say calling to dad, you have to use the word. So it's really specific. So you can see it in the note cards on, uh, those flashcards that are on there, that study stack, they do have the level two version and it does have that all broken down for you. And there's the women's version and the men's version of that. And that really goes to siblings. Siblings and some of your, uh, and who's your <laughs> nephews and nieces. One of these. So um, that's the part for the family terms that you have on there. So take a look at those on study stack. We need to practice on them just uh, uh, let us know that then you can have you can work with people maybe in breakout rooms and stuff for those terms and the last one um that was portion d so portion c was the reading and pronunciation you have to pick some of those stories if they're short stories you pick a couple of them if it's a long story you kind of stick with that when you read through it and then once you're uh, done with it you can send it into uh, <coughs> send it in through here but if you have one let me know 
because I always want your latest version when you read the stories off for part uh, for part C with the stories and you go to level two, you got two folders where you can look at different stories that have recordings with them. And that's the, that's the important part that you have the story written out like on this one. You can listen to the story. And then and then you can match it with its, with the reading part of it too. Now it doesn't have all the tones in it, but that's okay for right now. I'll fix those later. You have the audio to go with them. And that's the main thing with the tone part. These ones don't have the tones with them. Um, let me see. I can't figure out how to take this off now. Um, down to the bottom. Okay. So these stories don't have the tones with them, but these ones do should right here. And these ones have also have the audio right below it. So if you're gonna read the one, A Kind Man, you read through it and hopefully it has tones. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I need to. So this one has tones. When you when you take it and you listen to the audio, you should be able to kind of read through each of those. And I have them all set up to where it's divided by the sentence. So you're not really translating these. So this is a pretty short one. So on this one, you'd have to pick a secondary short story to go with it. Cause we're not gonna go just off of this story cause it is pretty short. You'll have to pick two of them versus, um, and it's only two pages long versus if you did the captive woman story, let's see how long that goes. It's, I know that's a pretty long story. Yeah, it goes on for several pages, about seven pages, 11 pages, 12. So when you do this one, this is the only story you'll have to actually read off. And she does speak a little bit faster in there. So when you listen to it, you just kind of run through it, but you read it, but you want to listen to her, you want to go ahead and listen to the recording first and then try to read it, listen to her again, read it again, listen to it again, read it again. You don't have to all do it all in one day, but just when you have time, when you do these, you want to try to read these and listen to the audio as much as you can over and over so that you can hear yourself getting better. So get used to listening to yourself on these recordings because you're, gonna, you're just gonna have to get used to it. You won't be able to, uh, you know, get better at pronunciation unless you kind of get over having to listen to yourself talk as much as you might hate it. <laughs> so that's where you look for this stuff. But if you got any more questions on it, then, you know, we can improve. We can just do it this one on one. And if you got any questions on it for that session that I said is this weekend down at the uh, where was the location again? Uh, let me go ahead and copy and paste that. Well, it kicked me off, so I can't see that uh, melody where you for this weekend oh. for the Saturday. Since yeah, I got kicked off, that, I can't. let me put that back in here. Okay. So, the Kyle Community Center for the for that two day event. I'm going to be there. And I, that's what I was going to be at, Ben Dane. Yeah, 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 yeah. How did this get? You? I was already planning a program. I didn't oh, yeah. I, I was going to tell them right afterwards, since I'm going to be there, if there are any credentialies and, and they're there after 1230, then um, well, I'll help. I, I can I can in person kind of help them try to get through some of these steps. So that's going to be afterwards, after we, this event is done. Yeah, I'm scheduled for 11 to 2 o'clock on Saturday with Warren Witton and uh, what's the other one? Oh, um, Mr. Yegu, Tim Yegu. That's what it said. I have to ask her, I guess. Should I go ahead and get on and come over? Or Yeah, yeah. So this is just to show them when that when this event is, 
And then I was just going to tell them as related to the credentialing process, any of that 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 want to go over that credentialing process once this part's over, if they need to, if they need help on something, I can help them because I'll be there in person. Yeah. So if they do attend this event, I can help them out afterwards. Okay. Oh, well, that's all I have. Oh, awesome. It's exciting. Lots oh. of cool stuff going on. Um, Aho, appreciate that, Dane. And um, welcome to all of our uh, Kiowa Language Credentialing Board members who are with us today. So we're really excited um, to hear all the updates and we'll be uh, practicing and submitting things. So um, that's on our list. So very exciting. Um, all right, any last questions for Dane or any of our credentialing board before we go into lesson four? At what point do we, um, <clears throat> are we, uh, can we send in those recordings, um, Dane, for the stories that are being read? Uh, anytime, anytime you update a story, uh, just contact me and I'll tell you where, to put, where you where to send it to. Okay, so we just go ahead and whenever we're ready, we can record the story yeah. and then let you know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I hope. And like I said, the more times you record it, the better. Okay, okay, just checking. Honda inside, uh, Dane. Honda. Um, portion B and the Kiowa terms then we'll have to set up a time to get with you maybe on Zoom to do those or how are we testing on those? The, the grammar? And yeah, the that one will still have to be the same way because that one's like real precise about how you do it and they're not really full, they're, they're full sentences. Okay. They just don't have very much context and they're focused on that. So that one, you'll, yeah, we'll have to do similar to what we did beforehand. Okay, and the family terms also? Uh, family terms, we could do that, but we can do that on the day of too, either way. All right, awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, just say ha. thank you to Dane for providing those updates and thank you to our credentialing board. So we're really excited um, and look forward to hearing more details. So um, let's go ahead and look at lesson four. Okay, there it is. All right, so let me share my screen. Um, we're we're going to start with uh, our pronunciation practice. Because um, I think we, we, put, we got through the conversations in lesson three last time, and we didn't have time to do our pronunciation practice for um, lesson four. So that's where we were going to start today. And let me see here. So I'm going to put in the chat kind of the little order just based on how I see y'all on the screen. Okay, and let me share my screen. Okay, where is it? Okay, there it is. Um, okay, let me make sure I have the right. Okay. All right, hopefully everyone can see this. Oh. All right. All 
Okay, so uh, level two, lesson four. Um, so again, it's on understanding and knowing. So we have number of the week. Hanse, Hanse. Um, can anyone tell me the meaning of the number of the week and the phrase of the week? Hande Imsai Phil. Seven. Seven. Melody. Hande. Uh, we need to remember how to say Honda and Saito. They need to practice it. I noticed that that's something that they don't really pronounce correctly. Huh. Okay, why don't we start there? Um, so Grandma D, can you say that again? And we'll just go through, we'll go down the list and everyone can practice saying that. Honda and Saito. Oh, um, Grandma Martha Nell, would you be able to pronounce it for us too? Okay, are, are we just doing a little block there? Uh, just the phrase of the week here. Okay. Oh, thanks, huh? And Grandma Dorothy? Hyundai and Tai Tho. Hyundai and And above it is Pan Sing. Pan Sing. And Miss Velma? Hyundai and Tai Tho. Tai Tho. And Miss Brenda, are you able to? Yes, Honda inside though. Oh, okay. So let's, um, where did my list go here? Okay, so let's go. So um, can everyone see the chat for the learners? Um, so Han Sang, Honda inside though. And Kathy, over to you. Han Sing. Honda inside da. 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 Han Sing. Honda inside da. Hi. Sign da. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, same. On day and side, though. On day, on day and side, though. Oh, Courtney? Uh, say, on the inside, though. On saying. On the inside, though. On saying. On the inside, though. Oh. On saying. On the inside, though. Pawn Sang. Hyundai aim side though. Pawn Sang. Hyundai aim side though. Side though. 
All right. Um, so we'll we'll continue to practice. Um, and we can listen to the recording again to hear the pronunciation. So let's go into our first uh, row here. I'm going to put it in blue. Um, so we have our first row. And um, again, this is on understanding and knowing. And so let's go here to the meaning really quick. I'm just scrolling down to. Um, so the this first phrase is basically means, do you understand? And then you're answering or you're responding. Uh, yes, I understand or I don't know. And then the second phrase is asking if we hear Kiowa. And then we say, I understand a little bit. I understand Kiowa a little bit. And then do you know the Kiowa language? And then yes, I know the Kiowa language. All right, so let's go to our um, mentors first and uh, Let's see, so I have, uh, just so you know, um, so I have Grandma Martha now, uh, Grandma D, Grandma Dorothy, Miss Velma, and Miss Brenda in that order. So, Grandma Martha? Ah, cool. Okay. Oh, hey, go again. Hi, Gindo. Oh, yeah, hi, Gindo. Honya, hi, go. Oh, Oh, I think your audio might have. Mm -hmm. Um okay, let's go over to uh Grandma Dorothy. Oh hey go yan hi ghetto. Oh hey go yan hi ghetto. Oh yeah hi ghetto. Oh yeah hi ghetto. Yeah. And some people put the in on it, but it's uh, no, no, it's ho, yeah, hi, yeah, do. And then for another time. Ho he go yan hai gedo. Ho yan hai gedo. Ho yan hai go. Oh. Why does that ho yan hai go? Why does that come under there? Um, because I think this one is it's like an open ended. Because you're saying the same thing. Because I guess they could say it in either way, however they want to answer it. Uh, let's see. Did we get Miss Brenda? Melody, how do you say the uh, I don't know or understand? Uh, in the voting booth yesterday, come on. Makes it kind of confusing. On your high go. On your high go.
Yes, so that's how we would say I don't understand. Ponya hi go. On the inside though. The distinction between ya and yan. Ya is me. Yan is no, me. No squiggle line on the top. Of the N on the ya. Ya or ya? Ya. Oh, that was, I think that was a typo thing. This is, it's ya. Both of them are ya. Okay, and then the one that doesn't have one, it's ya or yan. That first one, the question yeah. is talking about you, so that's yan. 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 Okay. Yon. Two are ya. Ya. Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, Aho. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, go. Ha. Ha. Ya. Ha. Ha. Nyan. Ha. Ga. Ya. Da. And then ha. Ya hai get the ha yan hai get ya hai oh okay I'm confused ha han yan hai ha han ha han e han yan hai ha han I don't know han yan hai get confused. Ha. Oh, uh -huh. okay, so ready learners? So we're just gonna read on through. Um, okay, so it'll be me, Kathy, Judy, Aunt Carolyn, Lori, Courtney, Akima, George, Ramon, Nelson, and Tim. All right, and hopefully you see that in the chat. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, hey, guy, yan hi, doll. Oh. Yahai Gado. Hon Yahai Go. Okay. Ha hey go. Yahai Gado. Ha Yahai Gado. Hone Yan Hai Git. No. Hon Yahai Gado. Hon Yahai Gil. Hai Go. Hai Gil. Gaw. It ends in gaw. Hi, gaw. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Hi, gaw. On your high. On your high, gaw. That's it. On your high. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would dare to say the correct way to say is on your high, gaw. On your high, gaw. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. Ha, hey, ya, yan, hi, gada. Ha, yan, hi, gada. Han, yan, hi, ya. Internet connection is stable. Well, go ahead. Ha, hey, ga, ya, hi, ya, da. Ha. Ya, ha. Ha, hey, ga, ya, ya, hi, ya, da. Ha, ya, hi, ya, da. Ha, ya, hi, ga. Ah, uh, yeah, on, yeah, hi, guys. Oh. And Ha, hey, guys. Ha, hey, guys. Yeah. Ha, hey, guys. Yeah, hi, get off. Ha, yeah, hi, get off. Ha, yeah, hi, go. Oh, hold on. Ha, yeah, hi, go. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, go, yen, hi, get dog. Uh-uh, let me try that again. I saw that question mark. <laughs> oh, hey, go, yen, hi, get dog. Oh, yen, hi, get dog. Hon, yen, hi, go. Oh, hey, go, yen, hi, get dog. Oh, yen, hi, get dog. Oh, yen, hi, get dog. 
Ha hega yan ha geda. Ha yan ha geda. On ya ha ga. Wait. Ha hega yan ha geda. Ha Yon high yado. Ha, yon high yado. Han, yon high go. Ha, he go yon high yado. Ha, yon high yado. On your high go. Oh, we did it. Any feedback for us? Okay, let's go to the second row. This is one we've heard before, so hopefully we'll remember it. <laughs> um, all right, with over to our mentors to so we can hear. Um, Grandma Martha, uh, go. Hi, goit, oh yeah. Ha, shandy, a goit, oh yeah. Ha, Grandma D. Oh, I'm going to oh, yeah. Oh, Shandy, I'm going to oh, yeah. Oh, Grandma Dorothy? I'm going to oh, yeah. Oh, Shandy, I'm going to oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Hi, I'm going to oh, yeah. Oh, Shandy, Shandy, I'm going to oh, yeah. Hi, I'm going to ya. Ha, Shande, I'm going to ya. Oh, Grandma Dorothy? Hi, I'm going to ya. Ha, Shande, I'm going to ya. Hi, I'm going to ya. Ha, Shande, I'm Ha, Shande, a goit, aya. Ha, I'm going, aya. Ha, Shande, a goit, aya. Ha, Shande, a Ah, I'm going to ya. Ah, Sunday, I'm going to ya. I'm going to ya. Ah, Sunday, I'm going to ya. I'm going to ya. Ha. Shande a goit aya. I'm goit aya. Ha. Shande a goit aya. I'm goit aya. Ha. Shande a goit aya. I am goit aya. Ha, Shande, a goit aya. Ha, I am goit aya. Ha, Shande, a goit aya. Oh, all right, we did it. Any feedback? Good. <laughs> 
on. Okay, we're on to the third row. Okay, and this one is asking if we know Kiowa, if we know the Kiowa language. <clears throat> okay, so uh, over to our mentors, um, Grandma Martha. Oh, Oh, go yan go to high get up. Oh, Shandy, ya go to high get up. Oh, he go yan go to high get up. Oh, Shandy, ya go to high get up. Ha he go yan koito hai Ha shande yan koito hai geto. Ha aho. Okay, learners ako. Ha he go yan koito hai geto. Ha shande yan koito hai geto. Oh, hey, go, ya. Oh, hey, go, ya, go, Oh, Shande, ya, go, don't, hi, get on. Oh, hey, ya. Oh, hey, ya, young, go, don't, hi, get on. Ha, Shonda Yan Koi Tong Hai Gido. Oh, Aunt Carolyn, I think you're go I don't hide your dog. Oh, there we go. We heard the last part. <laughs> okay. I hope. Oh, hey, God. <clears throat> Let me get some water. <laughs> Okay. Oh, he got ya go it on. I get up. Ah, Sunday ya go it on. I get up. Oh, he got ya go it on. I get up. Ha he go yan go it on high get off. Ha shande yan go it on high get off. Ha he go yan go it on high get off. Ha shande yan go it on high get off. Ha he go yan go it on high get off. Ha shande yan go it on high get off. Oh, hey, go, yon, go, ton, hi, get up. Oh, Shande, yon, go, ton, hi, get up. Oh, hey, go, yon, go, ton, hi, get up. Oh, Shande, yon, go, ton, hi, get up. Oh, hey, go, yon, go, ton, hi, get up. Oh, all right, any feedback for us? Pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. All right. All right. Last, last little phrase. Um, we have one minute left. <laughs> so we'll see. 
Uh, all right, uh, mentors, if you start us off, uh, Grandma Martha. Okay. Ha, so ha. Ha, so ha. Ha, so ha. Ha, so ha. Oh, uh, Miss Velma. <clears throat> I think you're muted, Miss Velma. Ha, Tsolha. Ha, Tsolha. Ha, ho. Miss Brenda? Ha, Tsolha. Ha, Tsolha. Uh -huh. Okay, learners, Anko. Hot soul ha. Ha, soul ha. Ha, so ha. Yeah. Hot soul ha. Ha, so ha. Ha, so ha. Ha, so ha. Ha so ha. Ha so ha. Internet connection unstable. Ha so. Ha so ha. 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 Melody. Hande. I've heard it say ha cho ha. It's chol ha. You the L is not silent. Ha chol ha. So ha. Tol ha. You're getting encouraged so much when they say Tolha be fate, Tolha be good, Tolha get ag. It's an encouraging word. It means right. You're doing it right. And little, 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 little to all of you. Aho. Um, well, let's see, we're at um, uh, eight o'clock. Well, actually a little over eight o'clock. So I respect everyone's time. Um, so we're going to start next session with our conversations here. So just practice uh, what we just um, heard. You can listen to the recording. I'll try to get the recording um, downloaded. Um, I'll try to do it tonight so I can get it sent out tomorrow. Um, and then we'll start here with these conversations. They're a little bit longer, um, so it may take a little bit longer uh, next week, but we'll start with our conversations for lesson four next week. Um, so just, you know, prepare for that. Remember the lessons build on each other. So this will cover lessons one through four. Um, and we'll start there. So uh, let's stop sharing. Okay, does anyone have um, any questions before we close up?
Uh, cool. All right. I don't hear any questions. I said, uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. <laughs> um, okay. Well, if you think of any questions, um, just let us know. Um, you can email or text or call. Um, and let's see, sounds like there's a, that event going on in Carnegie this weekend. So hopefully some of you'll be able to make it. Sounds like it'll be really exciting. Um, okay. So with that, uh, if there's no other questions or comments, um, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap up. And for our closing prayer, um, we'll go over to Akima. Bay Dot Sai. Day Bay Dot Sai. Da Pan Mai and Ah. Day on the Baton Ah. Ain't got key da da day. Key da salt day da day. Get taint so on me. Day on the get time on me. No, my tame get get taint so on get. Da tie do day. Aho de batha. Aho batonga dog ae Jesus. Amen. Aho. Aho. Oh. Awesome. Well, aho de batha, everyone. Um, bay bay day. <laughs> like grandma said. Uh keep practicing. So we'll get there. We're we're getting there every every time we meet. Um so all right, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, close up for the evening and hope everyone has a good week and um, have a good weekend. And we'll see you next Wednesday. So, hey, God, oi, don't talk. Hey, God, oi, don't talk. Have a blessed Easter. Tone Ha. Happy Easter. Aho. Yeah, hi, kiddo. Oh.